In this video we will talk about sorting inside JavaScript and this is considered a basic knowledge, but there are still quite a lot of things that are not that easy inside sorting. And the sponsor of this video is Filestack. If you want to make possible image uploading on your website, you typically need front and backend, storing files on your server or uploading them to CDN. And this is really a lot of work. If you want to make possible uploading files directly from Dropbox, Facebook or Instagram, then it is even more work. Filestack solves all these problems at once and just in several lines of code you can get all these things out of the box. You can use Filestack with plain JavaScript or with any popular framework like React or Angular. Additionally, you can transform images on the fly, upload files to your own CDN and much much more. If you want to check Filestack, there is a link in the description box below. And now let's jump into the video. Inside JavaScript we have for sorting just a single method sort and we can call it on the arrays. This is why here I have an array, as you can see this is just strings inside. And to call sorting we can simply write array.sort. And after this we can call console log our array to check how it was sorted. I'm reloading the page and here everything was sorted in the alphabetical order. This is why here you can see car on the first place and table on the last place. But here is an important point. We first of all called here sort and after this we console logged our array. Which actually means we didn't assign the result of sort anywhere. Because actually array sort mutates the existing array. And we don't need to assign the result somewhere. But actually this is super misleading, because here inside console log we can simply write array sort and we are console logging our array. Yes it is sorted, but actually it is not like here we are console logging the result of array sort. Yes we are console logging it, but we also mutated our array. And this is why you must be aware that sorting always mutates an array. Another important point is to understand how sorting is working exactly. And as I already said, sorting function compares these all strings one by one, but actually it compares them by first letter, which actually means sorting function compares first letter and first letter here. And if these letters are equal, then it compares second, third and so on, which actually means it is working with strings like a charm. But it will never work if you will try to sort numbers inside strings. For example here you have 200, then you have here 65, then here we have 5 and here maybe 2. Let's check what we have. We are getting here 2, then we are getting 200, 5 and 65. And now you can understand why it is happening. Because actually it compares symbols by symbol. And here 2 is the same symbol and here 2 is the same symbol. This is going here. This is why you can't really use sorting to sort array of numbers as a strings inside. Another question that people typically ask how we can sort in descending order. Yes, by default array sort sorts in ascending order. But we want to sort in descending order and there is no way to provide it inside. And this is why what typically people are doing, they are writing array.sort, so we are sorting ascending and then we are using array.reverse to just reverse all positions of all elements inside array. And it is important to understand that reverse simply reverse in the positions of the element. It doesn't compare our elements. This is why when I am reloading the page, here we are getting car, chia, fan and so on, so it was sorted. But array reverse actually is immutable operation, which actually means it didn't change our array. Now here we can write inside console log array reverse and it will be reversed correctly. And now we are getting our array in the reversed order. Another question that you might ask how we can sort an array of numbers. And actually here we have a number array and what we can do, we can use a predicate inside sorting function. So we can write here number array sort and here inside sort we can write a comparison function. And here we are getting a and b and now inside we are writing some logic. What is this a and b ever means? This is actually our pairs of comparison inside our array. For example at the beginning we are comparing 2 and 3, then we are comparing 3 and 4 and so on. So inside here we are providing our predicate how we will compare our pairs. And actually here for numbers we can say a minus b. And let's check how it will be sorted. 
So here I want to console lock number array and reload the page. As you can see in this case we are getting our numbers in ascending order. But now here I can write not a minus b but b minus a. Let's check this out. I'm reloading the page and it is sorted in descending order. What does it mean? Actually, this sort, when we are passing inside a function, wants to get inside a negative number, as a result, a positive number or a zero. In this case, here we are just deducting from b a, which actually means 3 minus 2 will be 1, which means it is bigger and it should be sorted descending. If it is smaller, then it will be sorted ascending, and so on, which actually means this logic is just here to return negative number or positive number. And this logic will be much clearer for you if we are talking about some difficult data. For example, here we have an array of objects, and here we have names and year of birth. And actually here we can write people.sort, here we have our a and b, so we have a comparison, and here inside we can write a dot, and here we have year of birth minus b year of birth. And now we are console logging here our people. Let's reload the page, as you can see it was sorted correctly by year of birth. This is exactly what we did here on the top. But actually if we want to sort names like strings, we can't really use minus here, because you can't deduct string from the string. So what we will write in this case? We can write here a.name bigger than b.name. And in this case we are writing minus 1, in another case we are writing 1. Let's check this out, I am reloading the page, here we are getting John, Dave, Albert, which actually means it was sorted correctly, but in descending way. But now here I will write, ok, a name bigger than b name, now here I want to write 1 and minus 1, let's reload the page, as you can see here it is sorted ascending, Albert, Dave and John which actually means the result of sorting must be positive, negative or zero. And actually typically we are using 1, 0 or minus 1. And this is how we are setting what order we want to get. And for example with strings it makes a lot of sense. And just to remind you, if we will use 0, then it means the two values are equal. Also, if you are interested to learn how to become a senior developer and what skills you must master, make sure to check this video also.